so I've been working on. <laughs> That feeling, that like unknown space that exists when you sit down to talk to a camera, I feel like it's never really been properly articulated until I saw Bo Burnham's Inside. <laughs> If you haven't seen this special yet, and I think Netflix is calling it a comedy special, but honestly, it's just a piece of cinema. It's just a piece of amazing filmmaking. And I think a lot of people are gonna watch it and see it as some sort of commentary on the lockdown and being stuck at home and being stuck inside, like the name suggests. But I don't know, maybe it's because I have a YouTube channel. Maybe it's because I've been doing this for as long as Bo's been doing it. Of course, I'm not as successful as he is, but I think it's more about the relationship between a person and a camera. The fact that he peppers these moments throughout the entire special with him setting it up, trying to get focused, trying to get his lights set up, all that kind of stuff. I don't think it's to show that it was difficult to do. Of course, yeah, it's difficult to film yourself, but I think that's actually the easy part of that entire process. The, the easiest thing is actually just setting the camera up and all that kind of things, even though it is frustrating. The hard part, is talking to a camera and let alone singing to a camera like he does. That to me is what this special is about. The relationship between a person and the camera and how a camera changes you. Maybe it makes you sad. Maybe it makes you depressed. Maybe it makes you angry and frustrated. Or it turns you into this entirely different person that you don't even know. I've watched my own videos back and been like, who is that? Who filmed that? Who is talking right now? I'm sure I'm gonna watch this video back and be like, who the hell is that guy? Like, this camera changes you. And just looking into this camera right now is one of the most terrifying experiences if you think about it too much. And I think a lot of us just don't reflect on that enough. And I think Bo's special has caused me to reflect on that. I feel so different and aware of how crazy it is to sit down and talk to a camera. I will go days, weeks, months even, just trying to get over that hurdle of just sitting down in front of the camera. And this special, like I said, I've just never seen something documented so well, that struggle of what it's like to sit here and make something for a lot of people you don't even know. Like most of you people watching this, I, I don't know who you are. And I'm not making it for my friends. If I was making it for my friends, I would just talk to my friends. Like this is for strangers. That entire concept is so crazy and weird and bizarre and funny and fun and scary. And this special by Bo like just hits every single point. It nails this weird space between a person and the camera and the relationship between them and how it changes you. I've also seen a lot of people talking about the cinematography and how well it's shot and all that stuff. And that's all great, but I think that's still the easy part. I think it's easy to replicate things and watch a music video or watch a movie and say, I want my shots to look like that and you draw on inspiration there. But actually filming yourself and the actual act of filming yourself, this idea of sitting here and talking to the camera, that is so difficult. And Bo just put his entire life out for us and he's been doing it since he was a kid. I've been doing this since I was a kid. I'm only a year older than Bo and I know that feeling. I've been making home videos and all that kind of stuff ever since I was a child. And I don't really think I reflected as well <laughs> as he has on how insane that concept is. To have your even your entire life and your success around this concept of talking to a camera, it's crazy. And it's something I don't know if I'll ever get used to. I don't know if I wanna get used to it. It's, it's a bizarre and weird thing to do. And making content and making things for the internet is still bizarre to me and foreign. And I'm still not entirely sure if it's even a good thing. Has it brought joy to my life and success? Yeah, but at what cost? My entire life is pretty much out there in the open and I don't really know if I've felt the consequences of that or at least I haven't faced them. So if you're a filmmaker, anybody, if you're someone who makes TikToks, if you're someone who just tweets, whatever you do, I think you, what you'll take away from this is this personal feeling from his special that isn't about being locked 
down and being stuck inside. It's just about what we put out and ourselves and capturing ourselves and that whole concept that is so bizarre. It's so weird. I'm even having a hard time articulating it because Bo articulated it so well in this film. I'm going to call it a film because I don't think it's a comedy special. I don't think it's anything else. It's just a really good piece of art. There's even moments in the special where Bo breaks down the fourth wall of the viewer and the camera. It's almost like he's washing the lens between us and himself because he's in this box and we are watching him on this box. And that whole concept to me, it really will give you an existential crisis. It'll start to make you think about this whole idea that I'm talking to glass and metal. And then that spread to the entire world. Technically the entire world could watch this video by me just pressing upload. Have we thought about that enough? I don't think so. I think Bo's thinking about it and I think more of us definitely need to think about it. So Bo, thank you for articulating what I clearly couldn't. This mic isn't even plugged in. So, movie magic. I'm Patrick Tomaso. Hope you like this video and you will see or hear me next time I feel like making another video. Cheers.